<laughs> Hitler was wrong. I've just entered a Queen subway station. It's early for me, two in the afternoon, and I'm tired and hungover, trying to figure out how I'm going to make it through another night in the bookstore. When I notice out of the corner of my eye some graffiti on a subway I posted. Yeah, you got it. A Hitler was right tag scrawled over Tom Hanks' face. A fucking asshole sprayed that same shit on some headstones that kicked over in a Jewish cemetery in New Jersey. Saw it on TV. And it cuts through the morning after fog and clears my mind right away. No way, I think you're absolutely wrong. Hitler was wrong. Think about it. You, you got this small, dark man with a strange haircut, film noir mustache and large nose look at the photographs, saying we should all worship tall blinds. Didn't he ever pass a mirror? We should all worship gay blinds. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> Didn't he ever pass a mirror, a store window, or was he truly that blinded by his incredible self-hatred. I doubt it, because it seems to me that he tried very hard to disappear anyone who even remotely resembled himself. So he would never have to see his reflection anywhere. That way he could fantasize. He was a tall, ravishing, blonde, sword in hand, playing out the old myths. Let's move on. He lost the fucking war. Doesn't matter how many Jews or gypsies or Russians he wasted. Ten million Germans died. Those were his supposed countrymen, his compatriots with the clean jeans. Blonde Nordic giants with their gothic weapons and designer uniforms. All dead. Killed following a small dark man who couldn't even face the fact that he failed utterly as a leader, so he blew his brains out. Very brave, right? Guy was dead wrong, a total loser, and I'm positive he'd never have reached such a pinnacle of power if it hadn't been for another small dark man, a man beloved by the masses, famous in France as Charlot, in Japan and yes, in Germany. Hitler looked enough like Charlie Chaplin that I honestly believe the Germans were following the Charlie Chaplin in her subconscious when they do stuff off to their fate. I've been thinking this for years. And it hits me as my train comes screaming into the station that there probably wouldn't have been a Bill Clinton without Elvis or a Donald Trump without Howard Stern and Hulk Hogan.